so, uh, dear students in the previous chapter on photoshop in your class 7 you have learned the basics of photoshop so you are familiar with the photoshop window different selection tools working with images some painting tools and the drawing tools in this chapter we are going to learn about some more tools called retouching tools and how to work with layers and text and using filters so we'll see one by one so you must be familiar with the photoshop window as i said so this is your menu bar and application bar and this is a tools panel and this is your panels right so this contains a panel title bar so when you when you wanted to open a new file in photoshop you have to go to file new and then you have to mention the width and the uh, width and the height of the screen uh, the, and then press ok so this is your document uh, window and this is the workspace area so you must be familiar with this this is your status bar right so next we will see we have seen some of the selection tools remember this uh, mark you tool lasso tool move tool so we we saw some of these tools and quick selection tool ma, ma, magic wand tool how to open a uh, file new file how to open existing file how to save the file in photoshop how to change the background and foreground color so everything we have learned in class 7 so let's see some of the retouching tools now here okay so let's open any of the image you have for opening an image you have to go to file open and select any of the images this way you have to open the image you can you open multiple images like this see for example if i am selecting and opening another image here so that is also possible okay so let's see how to work on, work with reach retouching tools let's start with so with reach uh, so there are several tools that are used for retouching manipulating and adjusting photos such as the clone stamp tool, eraser tool, burn tool, dodge tool, smudge tool and burn tools, blur tools. With retouching tools like the clone stamp tool and the healing brush tool, you can easily remove the imperfections of an image. These tools essentially function by locating a source point or multiple source points. So that can be scaled or rotated in order to cover unwanted details in a specific area of an image. So by the name, what you understand spot healing brush tool or healing brush tool that means it repairs the particular part so let's start with spot healing brush tool and healing brush tool there are two different tools here i am using photoshop 7 so i don't have the spot healing brush tool but i have healing brush tool here okay so to work with the healing brush tool first you have to open the image file okay and then select the healing brush tool which is here okay and then you can change the brush mode if you wanted to change the brush mode you can change it over here okay so if you wanted to set the mode over here that is also possible i am setting the normal mode here okay so you can you have, after selecting the brush you have to specify the source point from uh, where that particular point should be taken and repaired okay for that you have to click on the alternate key from your keyboard and and click okay so here you have to select sampled source first okay then click on the alternate key and can you see the plus symbol in the circle so that means this spot has been selected as the source point okay so now you have to click and drag the spot where you wanted to repeat for example i want this part to be repaired so i can click on the click and drag the mouse it will be repaired according to the source point can you see yes next is spot healing brush tool okay i'll just open any online uh, uh, application to show you the spot healing brush tool just click on this and uh, the hub healing brush tool button and then click on spot healing brush tool and then you need not select any source point for spot healing brush tool just click and drag the particular part it will be repaired and you see it will be repaired like this just it will remove the imperfections in the particular area like this okay next will be clone stamp tool okay say so here this is your stamp tool from here you can select just as you know you have to just hold there will be hidden tools in every tool okay if there is an arrow below that means there is it has a hidden tools okay if you just hold the left mouse button for two three seconds you can see the hidden tools so select the clone stamp tool from here okay there are two tools here clone stamp tool and pattern stamp tool okay so for clone stamp tool what it does it is similar to healing brush tool what it does is it, it does not blend at the end it allows the user to replace one part of an image with another part okay for example if i am opening a another image here uh, 
to explain it clearly for you okay so this is another image i wanted to select the i wanted to lose the clone snap null so what it will uh, do it will create the same another image of the same image duplicate it will create so first you have to click on the clone stamp tool and then you have to select the brush size and mode if you wanted if you wanted you can change it like this over here okay i'm not changing it i'm using the same uh, mode and the brush size okay you have to mention the source point here how to mention the source point you have to click on the alternate key you can see this plus symbol in the circle given and click on the source point this is the source point which i have selected okay and i wanted to drag the mouse and click create a clone like this see it will create a clone of the same image another image duplicates the particular image can you see this is called clone stamp tool next is pattern stamp tool what it does it will this tool allows you to fill the area with a selected pattern you have to first define the pattern then clone the stamp pattern okay let's see one let's first you have to open the image see for example i am opening any of the image from here okay for example i am opening this image so if you want to change the size you can change the size of the image also so go to image uh, menu image size and mention the width and the height it will be changed here so i wanted to create a pattern first i have first first before creating the pattern i have to define the pattern okay select the area for example using the selection tool and select the particular part this i wanted to take it as a pattern okay so first open the image select the particular area which you want to define as the pattern go to edit menu okay and then say define pattern okay so it will ask you to give the name for the pattern and it will be um, automatically it will be giving the name if you want to change the name you can change the name now it is a pattern 8 so it is defined as the pattern 8 so now if you wanted to change just click on the pattern stamp tool now this is the pattern stamp created okay click it and then that pattern would would have been defined now here like this okay you can select the pattern and use it wherever you wanted okay see now click on the pattern stamp tool click on the particular pattern and you can use it the selected part or if you are not selecting anything it will be applied in the other part also just click on same selection tool and if you use the pattern stamp tool and you can create the same pattern like this okay. if you click on the if you just move the brush it will be creating the pattern here so this way you can change the pattern in the next will be the eraser tool if you see here this is three tools are hidden under eraser tool just click on hold the mouse in the, near this arrow you will see the three tools eraser tool background eraser tool and magic eraser tool so, so first i am going to see i am going to show you eraser tool okay so it it erases an image based on the layer if you are using text layer then any text that the tool is dragged across will be erased okay now we don't have the text layer so we are going to use only the background layer so see here you all know how to change the foreground color and the background this is foreground and this is background so here the background color is yellow so this uh, here we are in the background layer this image is the background layer so if you are deleting the image deleting it deleting the part of the image it will show you the background color okay so just uh, click on this eraser tool and so it will it will act like a paint brush tool or pencil tool we can say okay if you want to change the brush mode you can change it Uh, brush size mode uh, opacity with it we can change all these things okay so next will be background eraser tool what happens it erases the background itself okay it deletes any part of the image that is on the edge of an object okay so now let's see how to how it works so click on the background eraser tool so can you see it is erasing the background itself okay next one is magic eraser tool as you know magic wand tool it will select a particular pixel for example uh, if you are saying uh, it will select a particular part with the same pixels right so same way magic wand do tool also it will select the similar colored pixels okay select it and see this is click on the magic wand tool see it will select a particular part where the similar color pix pixels exists see so this way it will erase the particular part next will be blood tool sharpen tool and smudge tool these three are grouped together here 
So next below eraser tool. See first is blur tool, sharpen tool and smudge tool. So let's select blur tool first. And let's see how it works. So the blur tool is, it, it is used to soften the portions of an image or uh, by lightening within the adjacent area. So just see, click on this, you can change the brush size and then the mode. So as I said earlier, see, it will lighten the particular part of the image. Can you see? If I show you in the other image, you can see properly. See, it lightens the part. Next one is sharpen tool. So by the name, what you can understand? It will give sharp effect for the uh, selected pixels or the particular image. So I can uh, select the sparse, uh, sharpen tool. If you see, there is a difference. It is sharpening the particular part of the image. I will show this image also. So it sharpens the particular part of the image. Next is smudge tool. Same way for all the tool, you can select the brush size, mode and strength. Okay. So now let's select the sharpen tool. If you want to change the brush size, you can change it over here. Okay. So like this, you can change it. If you want to change the mode, there are various modes available. You can change it. Strength also, you can change it. Uh, here it is 50%. You can just increase or decrease the strength over here. And you can use it over here. Can you see? This is smudge tool. So by the name, it is smudging. So when you use the water, water colors, you can, if you smudge your, uh, smudge the color using the you know, brush, it will give that effect over here, smudging the particular part. Next is dodge tool, burn tool. So it is grouped over here next, next to burn tool here. So dodge tool and burn tool we are going to learn. First is dodge tool. What it does, it lightens the area where you use it. So the area, the area should not be absolute black. Okay, just click on it and just use it. The so same way you can, can you see, it is lightening the particular part. You can select the brush size, range and exposure here. Okay, so next you see, next is what? Burn tool. Just click hold the mouse button and select the burn tool. So what it does, it darkens the area. So dodge tool lightens the area. Burn tool darkens the area. If you can see, can you see, it darkens the area. Okay, same way you can change the brush size, range and the exposure for it. Okay, in the next video we will see how to work with layers, text and filters. Thank you children.